We are starting from a blank map and the first thing we are going to do is open the map settings panel. Here we will change the grid from tiles to hexes and then open the hex mapper menu. Here you will find all the hexes you can use. To start press on the hex you want and then press anywhere on the map. Keep in mind that this will overwrite any existing hexes. Also notice that the over chooses random hexes of the same type to make your map look more organic. For example, if we select a Savanna Hill tile, it will pick different variations of that same tile. There are hundreds of possible tiles you can use. To make it easier to find what you are looking for, you can filter the tiles using tags. For example, let's say we only want to use temperate biome tiles in this map. If you need to delete any hexes, switch to delete mode and press on the hex that you want to remove. I'm going to speed up the rest of this part, but notice that you can create very complex and varied maps by mixing different biomes and terrain types. You can add new locations and NPCs to these hex maps. Just create them as you would on regular maps and drag them over to the main panel. If you don't see your location at first, check your layers in the map settings. You can reorder them manually or just reset them to the default order. The same applies to NPCs, foes, dungeons and everything else. Just drag their avatars or icons from anywhere into the map. As shown in the previous video, you can also generate these hex maps using procedural generation. What I did not show is that you can extend those maps as well by using the hex mapper feature we just tried. It works exactly the same and you can also edit existing hexes as well. If you ever need more space, go into the map settings and change the canvas dimension to make the map larger. If you want to know more about the Ogur, go to ogurbtt.com for an overview of all the features, or check out the YouTube channel for more videos like this one.